My name is Rasha Simmons, and I've been a breast surgeon for 20 years. Over 200,000 women in this country every year will be diagnosed with breast cancer, and all of them are going to have surgery of some sort. Many of them will choose to have mastectomies and or need to have mastectomies. And if that's the case, being able to offer them a wonderful cosmetic outcome to their surgery is really something very beneficial. We used to only do mastectomies, and then we did lumpectomies, and then we found out that the survival rate is just as good. And then we started looking at ways you could do better mastectomies for patients who needed to have mastectomies. And gosh, back probably in the mid-90s, we started thinking about, at that time, this very radical idea of being able to save all the skin on the breast. And we found that it was just as good. And then we said, maybe we could save the nipple in the breast. And that's what we're doing now. And it's a whole different world for patients who need a mastectomy. When a woman's diagnosed with breast cancer, she needs to ask the details to understand about her cancer, first of all. So what kind of cancer do I have? What would you expect this cancer would need as far as treatment? And usually, breast cancer surgeons will give patients options as far as treatment. And they need to understand what those options really mean and understand from the breast surgeon what he or she is recommending and why. When they come out of that room with the surgeon, they and their family members really need to understand what the issues are, how it's going to be treated, what the options are, why this option A or B is good or not, and be satisfied and have all their questions answered. When I have a patient who comes in who's with a friend who had a non-nipple sparing mastectomy or had a relative who had a non-nipple sparing mastectomy, and then when I talk about, well, we can save all your skin, we can save your nipple, we can save your areola, and they're just amazed. They think that's absolutely incredible. And so they're very pleased they're being offered that option. They often, of course, want to make sure if it's oncologically safe, and they ask a lot of questions about that. And so I explain to them that when it's done, the right way to do it is to make sure that you remove and test that tip of, that tip of tissue that's right behind and inside the nipple itself. And if that's clean, then I'm perfectly satisfied and I'm okay saving the nipple and the areola. I think it's oncologically safe. If there's any question, if it shows cancer, then we obviously have to take the nipple and the areola, and patients understand that. If you tell a patient that you recommend a mastectomy and you can do the mastectomy by saving all the skin, saving the nipple, saving the areola, and then she has reconstruction, and that literally no one is going to know that you had a mastectomy. It makes a really big difference for the patient. See, patients come back 20 years later who had breast cancer 20 years ago, and they're doing so well. And you know, I've seen their kids graduate from high school, get married, their grandkids, and it's just a wonderful thing to be able to see, to have these patients be part of your life for so many years.